Dear ladies and gentlemen, Today I want to show you, how the program of Kid Logger Pro, starting with version 1.6.112, may be controlled, from another application. If you open the download page, of Kid Logger Pro for Android, you can see this new link. Remote Control Application for Kid Logger Pro. In addition, we have a remote control application, for Kid Logger Pro article, in our blog. This is a remote control program, for parents. Here we have a link, where you can download it. And there is also a barcode for it. The program is available for everybody. Not only for professional users. Let's take a phone. This phone will be of parents. Run barcode scanner. Scan this code. And get a link, to download the program. Open the file manager. Find this archive and unpack it. Unzip it in the same folder. And see the Kid Logger Remote Control Program, third version. We did not publish the first and second because they were not entirely successful. Let's install the program. The program uses SMS messages to remote control. The program of Kid Logger Pro, installed on other phone. Here is it. The program is not hidden. The first thing, that we can see, is the configuration. Other commands. What's happening, on the child's phone? Get coordinate. Take the current coordinate, of the child's phone. Call back now. It is a request to call back. Start sound recording. Start recording surrounding sounds. Take a screenshot, and get the configuration from the server. The first thing, we need to do, is to configure this program. Because, the program initially doesn't know, what is the child's phone number. And, what is our own phone number. We click on the configuration button. Enter the child's phone number. Specify the device ID. It is the child's device identifier. We have to see, what device ID is. Earlier, it was necessary to write an SMS with this identifier to the child's phone. And, in response to these SMS, the Kid Logger program on the child's phone answered something. And these SMS were not hidden. Now all SMS will be hidden. Next, enter your own phone number. Now, when we have entered it all, we can click Test Connection. If we did something wrong, then, we will receive a message, that we have confused something. If we did everything right, then, there will be a message, that the connection is established. So, here is a message. If we incorrectly entered device ID, now we will introduce it again. So, here is a message. If we did everything right. As we can see, in the list of SMS, there are no messages. On the child's phone, is the same. This is the most important thing, that the child will not find our SMS. There is a lot of SMS, on the child's phone. But none from us. Let's go ahead. Now we want to know, what's happening, on the child's phone? We press this button, what's going on now? SMS is sent and soon will come back another SMS message, which will contain the name of the application, which is currently active. 
We need to wait a while, because SMS delivery takes a time. So, came a message, that informs us, the active application is messages. Really, on the child's phone was active the application, that deserves, SMS messages. Now get coordinate. We ordered to take the current coordinate, of the child's phone. We want to know, where our child is actually situated. The SMS was sent, and the actual coordinate will be in return SMS. It takes a little. Here it already came. We should click the link. It opens Google Maps. Our second phone is here. Let's approach. Really, we are right here. Next button, call back now. If we want to hear, what is really happening now, around the child's phone, then we should click it. And now, the child's phone will call us. However, it may not always call. It can call only, if the phone is in sleeping mode. But, if the phone is active now, it informs us, that the call is impossible, because the telephone is busy. Let's really turn it in hibernation. And now, we will try to repeat this command. Call back now. Let's wait a while. And now our phone is ringing. We can pick up the phone, and listen to, what's going on there. Of course, this call will be recorded. But much more important is, what we can hear right now. What's going on there? around the phone. Start sound recording, is a command, to record ambient sounds. The message has gone, and the surrounded sound recording has started on target phone. Here is a message, that the recording of ambient sounds, on that phone, has begun. Now we will not hear it, but, we will hear it later. When it is uploaded onto the server. And, already from the server, we can either listen, or download it. Take a screenshot, and send it to server. It means, to take a screenshot and then send it to the server. Why do we need it? If we think, that the phone is now working. And, the child is watching something interesting just now. Then, at this moment, we can force the child's phone, to take a screenshot. For example, we can run something on child's phone. Let's launch YouTube. Let's imagine, that our child is watching the YouTube. And, from the parent phone, we click take a screenshot. The SMS has been sent. As we can see, here at the top, there is a notification, that a screenshot has been taken. Of course, the child may notice it. But the icon disappears very quickly. Therefore, I think, it will not discompose him. Now we can see, if there is a screenshot, or not. Let's run the file manager. We can look into the storage, where the screenshots usually are. And, as you can see, the screenshot was obtained. Soon, the screenshot will be sent, to the server. And, the last button, that we have. Get server configuration. If we change the configuration, on the server. So, let's change some settings. For this, Samsung phone, of our child. The most interesting thing that we can change, is the password, to the program. It will be like this now. We should save the settings. Now, 
On this phone we give the command. That phone, to read this configuration right now. The message has been sent, and, on our parent phone, you can see, that the configuration was obtained. It means, the child's phone has sent back an SMS. That it successfully received the configuration. Here is the baby's phone. Let's check, if the old configuration works. Let's try old password to run the program. No, it doesn't work anymore. Then let's check the new one. As we see, the new password is working now. Well, it was a program, to manage Codelogger Pro, via SMS. We need it in those cases, when our child has no internet connection. And it allows us, to know something about the child at the moment. For example, to find him, in the city. Dear users, dear parents, it is very interesting to me, what would you like, to add to this program more? To manage the program Kidlogger Pro more effectively. And not to worry about our children. That's all. Thank you. Have a nice day.